These hoes been all up in your damn energy and mine too and the collective. So today, let's talk about your chakras. I took notes just to make sure I don't miss shit, all right? Because you need this information. You need to make sure that your protection is on point. You understand me? So along with your prayers, okay? Go ahead and get this little piece of information to add this to your daily regimen. Now, there are many, many chakras in the body. There are thought to be up to 114, but we normally just work on the seven main chakras. Those are the colors of them. The chakras are energy centers within the body, right? They look like little wheels that turn and spin energy. The seven main chakras are located from the base of your spine all the way up to the top of your head. When the chakras are balanced, opened, and aligned, it allows those wheels to turn your energy. Because remember, we in a physical world, but we're energetic beings. You understand me? Everything is energy, right? So you want your energy to be clean, to be clear, you know what I'm saying? To allow it to work through those chakras, right? When the chakras are imbalanced, it can cause dis-ease. You understand me? Chakra, ch chakras could be um, thrown off balance by, of course, the attacks that these hoes been trying to send us in the collective. All right, these little play play witches and warlocks and shit, right? So it could be affected by negative energy. They could be affected by lifestyle choices, stress, sleep deprivation, um, and things like that, right? But no worries. There are ways to fix that and reopen and realign your chakras. So little things like yoga, meditation, mindfulness, and breath work can help you realign, open up, and get your chakras straight, right? Now, you also have this type of energy work, working with candles, all right? So let me put you on real quick. Each one of these colors represents the chakras and where they are located in the body. First, you have the root chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, the third eye, and the crown chakra. To give your little your little energy work here a little extra spice, a little bit stronger intentions, okay? You can infuse your intentions into herbs, um, and fruits and veggies that align with that chakra will all right so for instance we have rosemary and ginger in our root chakra all right we're not gonna go through all the herbs but if you would like more information on what herbs to add to your candles let me know down in the comments and we'll do a part two okay all right so now we have all seven chakra candles with intentions placed in them, right? They're all lit now. So doing this, while doing this, what you can do is sit on the floor or wherever, you will sit in a chair or whatever, and be intentional about visualizing each one of your chakra centers that wheel spinning, right? As it spins, all the negativity that has been sent to you, anything you're experiencing in your life that you don't want there anymore, visualize all that shit just coming up off your chakras as it spins. You understand what I'm telling you, right? Believe, okay? What Jesus told y'all about believing now, all right? <laughs> Real talk, Jesus taught y'all ass about these chakras too in the book of Thomas, but they took that whole about the Bible, you understand me? But anyway, I hope that this video helps you all to reclaim your power, cast your protection around you. You understand me? Believe that you are capable and able to receive the healing, the balance. Okay? Yeah. And keep being who you are, my darling.
I love you all. If you would like a second video explaining more on the herbs and the intentions that I have placed over these candles for myself personally, let your girl know. All right. I love you all.